Hello, welcome to Amazon Open Search YouTube channel. My name is Anidhi Modi, an Amazon Solutions Architect in the Public Sector team at Amazon Web Services. In today's video, we will deep dive into various autocomplete methods which are available in the Amazon Open Search service. So let's get started. Aside from performing different kinds of searches, Open Search offers additional functionalities that empower you to obtain precise results efficiently arrange and categorize search outcomes, and emphasize specific queries. Autocomplete offers user suggestions as they input their search queries. It anticipates user intent and makes searches more efficient by proposing potential terms. It helps in providing a dynamic autocomplete function that updates with each keystroke, offering a concise set of suggestions even with minor typing errors. You can incorporate Autocomplete functionality through any of the following methods. Prefix matching for autocomplete, edge engram matching, completion suggester, and search as you type functionality. Now let's deep dive into all of these methods. The first one is prefix matching. It identifies documents that match the last term in a query string. It can be used for autocomplete by searching for text entries starting with a specific prefix. It is, however, resource intensive and can expand to numerous terms, potentially overwhelming the users. To manage this, you can set a maximum expansion limit. Also, when you're using a slope parameter, the query becomes more flexible in accommodating changes in the order of search terms. This parameter helps in determining the allowed number of words that can appear between words within a query phase. Now, with fuzzy queries, it widens the matching terms within a set distance. Open Search matches these terms against its indices with a default maximum expansion of 50 terms set by max expansions. Now, Let's try by ourselves on how we can run a prefix matching query on Amazon Open Search. So for the purpose of this demo, I have already created an Amazon Open Search cluster and have logged in into my Amazon Open Search dashboards. So I've added sample data in the video description and you can use the same data to create the demo store index and get started. Let's look at what the data here looks like. So this is the demo store index and let's check out the first document. So the name is black backpack. It is in the categories of accessories and stylus backpack. Just a quick glance over the data. And it looks like the data is about accessories and most of them has styled as backpack. So let's do one thing. Let's run one of the queries here, which is filtering style. And it is going to use prefix matching and we are going to add the prefix as BA. So once we run the query, uh, we get the following results. So with style, we get back and then rest of them are bathing. So this is one of the ways you can use prefix matching. It is very convenient to implement prefix matching for autocomplete, especially at query time. However, the prefix matching query can produce multiple results, which might not be always efficient. And index time solutions such as the edge engram, search as you type or completion suggestion methods might be more preferable for large scale application despite potential slower indexing. Now let's deep dive into the edge and gram matching. Previously, we saw in the prefix matching that the queries can be used to search at the query time. With edge and grams, they are used during indexing while dividing words into character sequences to make searches for partial terms more efficient. They are particularly useful for autocomplete, focusing on initial character sequences. 
This process includes configuring filters and analyzers to generate the n-grams for efficient suggestions. Now, the n-gram filter creates different tokens that can be used when performing a search. For example, n-gramming the word bathing generates different results based on the chosen n value. This results would include the following, as mentioned, which is BA, BAT, BATH, and others. Storing multiple token occupies a larger space compared to a standard analyzer. Now let's deep dive into the open search dashboard to see how we can perform edge engram matching. So the first thing which we are going to do is create a new index, which is called as demo store ngram. And here we'll be using the analyzer as autocomplete. And in the type, we are going to use as edge ngram and the minimum gram is going to be one and the maximum gram is going to be 10. And under the analyzer, you can check out what kind of properties we have selected here. So this is basically to run an autocomplete analyzer that includes an edge and gram filter. So let's go ahead and create this index. The index has been created. And now we are going to add some of the data into the demo store and gram index. And this is a similar data to the previous index, which is demo store. It has information about backpacks and the related information, which was there. So let's run this bulk. And a new index has been created. Now let's go ahead and generate a token from the word bathing. So you can use the post API to generate the token and the tokens have been created. So you can see the token starts with B, B, A, B, A, T, B, A, T, H, and etc. So now let's perform a search on various tokens, which provides that match of the token. So you can see that we are getting results as backpack now. So that's all for the demo store ngram index. Now let's deep dive into the completion suggester autocomplete method. Now on to completion suggester. It takes a suggestion list and constructs a fine state transducer, which is also known as FST. FST is a memory-based optimized graph structure. It facilitates efficient prefix lookups. During user input, the completion suggester navigates the FST graph character by character. And when it finishes the user input, the completion suggester examines the remaining endings to generate a suggestion list. This method optimizes autocomplete efficiency and provides precise suggestion control. This method uses type as completion and must be managed at the index creation time. So now let's look at how we can create an index using completion suggester. So we'll be creating an index which is demo stored completion suggester with style type as completion. So now let's go ahead and index some sample records in the demo store completion suggester. So I've added some sample records into the index and taking a quick glance over the index. So it has items related to bakery. So the style, it has three records related to bakery. And then we have two records, which are backpacks. So we have category as groceries with item name as bagels. And then with the category accessories and style backpack, we have tan backpack and the pale pink backpack. So now let's go ahead and perform a search against the style field using the prefix BA. 
and let's see how it returns all matching records. So again, in the search query, I am searching with filter style and the completion is on the field style with the prefix BA. So now once I ran the query, I got the results with two backpack results and three bakery results, which is ex as expected. So this is how you can use the completion suggester autocomplete method. Now let's go ahead and look at the last method, which is search as you type functionality. Now to focus on the last method here, which is search as you type functionality. Open search offers a specialized search as you type field data type, which is designed for efficient search as you go type functionality and which is capable of matching terms using both prefix and infix completion. Unlike other methods, using the search as you type field doesn't necessitate setting up a custom analyzer or the prior indexing of suggestions. After a document is indexed, OpenSearch automatically generates and stores its ngram and edge ngrams. For example, a given string question is divided into terms using the standard analyzer. These terms are stored into the text entry field. Now let's deep dive and see how we can use the search as you type functionality. So we'll first create a demo store search as you type index, which will match the description field as search as you type in a demo search as you type index. So let's go ahead. And as you can see, my index has been created. Now, again, like as we used in the previous methods, we will go ahead and ingest this data. So I've added some of the sample records, which automatically generates and stores n grams and edge n grams. Now let's perform a search on the description field using the Boolean prefix query. Now the results here will prioritize documents where the words align in the same way as the query and elevating the ranking in the results. So our query here is this product. Now we will see that, you know, how the description field would, you know, give us the results here. So we got two results here, which is this product is bottled heaven. And then this tan backpack is nifty for traveling. And it's again in our data set for the massage oil and for the tan backpack. And it is similar to our query, which is this product. So this is how the search as you type functionality works. So this is how all four autocomplete methods work in Amazon open search service. I've added the documentation of autocomplete as well as the artifacts, which includes the code and the sample data. So you can use the same to check out on your own on how all these four methods work. That's all for the video. I hope this helped in bringing clarity in how autocompletion feature works with an Amazon open search service. Thank you for your time and have a great day.